Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have my BoxyCharm to share with you guys. So I'm going to share my thoughts, my opinions on the BoxyCharm Lux, which was last month, December. So I have everything in my little, little acrylic container. I can't think of what it's called. My acrylic container here so I can talk about all the products. I've tried them all out so I can let you guys know my thoughts, my opinions on them, and whether or not I feel like that box was worth $50 because technically when you get the boxy luxes they are $50 versus the typical boxy charms which are $21 so I have my $21 box for January but I also have this one here I wanted to share with you guys just because I feel like it's important to do a little comparison to see if you're actually getting your money's worth so let's start with last month so we got two palettes last month which was really cool so the first one I got is by Suva Beauty this is the protege palette I love this palette honestly I got it and I looked at the palette itself and I'm like that looks really boring like there's only a few colors in here and like it just didn't look like it was going to be super impressive but the color pigmentation and the way that it went onto my lids and everything was absolutely gorgeous I love this palette this was the only thing I've ever tried from Suva Beauty so I was excited to actually try something from them but then like I said when I got it I was a little underwhelmed but using it girl it's so good it is so good every color in here has good payoff and it's very pigmented I love every shade in here I personally am excited to try out some more things from Suva Beauty I love trying things from indie brands and I think Suva Beauty is more of like an indie type of brand so I'm excited to look into their brand a little bit more to see what else they have out there available so I love both of the highlighters they have one here called era and then theory and then they have six eyeshadows here. But of course you can use Era and Theory as eyeshadows as well. You don't have to use them specifically as highlighters. So that's what I did. I used it as highlighters and as eyeshadows. I love it. What can I say about it? Honestly, it was very, very good. So for me, this made me very happy to have in my box. It does have a mirror as you probably just saw there. It has a mirror included. It's cardboard casing. It reminds me of like a lot of like Lorac palettes or I guess Lorac would be the best way to compare it because that's how it feels and everything it's nice and thin like Lorac it's just it's a very good palette so I was very happy to have it and it's cruelty free so Silva Beauty is a brand like I said that I'm going to be looking more into because I haven't tried too much from them so I'm excited to see what else they have out there then I got this giant set of brushes here from Luxie I love Luxie brushes there's only one thing I've ever had an issue with with Luxie and it was one brush and it just started to kind of crack at the bottom but other than that I've not had any issues with Luxie brushes I got this little set here we've got all sorts of brushes that I was able to use I've tried all of these the only one that I'm not a huge fan of is this one right here this is the round top blender and that's basically because I don't like putting my foundation on with a brush just because I don't know how to do it I'm, I'm terrible at it so I'm like how do you do it and not leave streaks I don't know so I really didn't even try this one to be honest with you so I can't give a review on this one but the other ones I did try so I tried the lip brush I love the lip brush I like that it pops out like this then you just connect it together and make a longer brush I think it's a perfect little lip brush I use this with my I think it's Urban Decay yep my Urban Decay Vice lip palette I used it with that because I thought it would be a great way to try that out because I love that lip palette it's beautiful. I know a lot, a lot of people don't like lip palettes, but I personally do. So I was loving this little lip brush. I like that it's compact and then it closes back up on itself. You don't have to worry about leaving a dirty brush laying around and getting lip products on things. So this is perfect to me. The next one is this one right here. This is the Pro Precision Face Brush. I use this one for contouring. It is so nice. It's nice and thick. It's very, it's a very, very dense brush, but it's so soft. When you put it on, it feels like teddy bear hair. If you guys have tried the Too Faced teddy bear hair brushes, that's how soft these are. Very, very soft, very luxe. I love this brush. This one was perfect, like I said, for contouring, especially if you're doing a little bit of cream contouring. It's beautiful. Love that brush. The next one is this one right here. This is the Precision Foundation Brush. I don't see how this is a foundation brush. I use this one honestly as like doing powder on my skin. So I like to put powder under my eyes. You can also use it for a highlight if you wanted to. Don't ever think that just because a brush says it's specifically for one thing, you have to use it for that one thing. You can use brushes however you want to. So that's what I do with my brushes. I use them in any way that I possibly can, just so that I know that I can use that, utilize them that works best for me. So this one here I use more as like a powder brush and then also for face powders and things like that. It's more smaller, so it's great for those smaller areas. Areas. I love that brush as well the next one is this one right here this is the tapered highlighter brush and this is, to me is a little too big to be a tapered highlighter brush I feel like it's too thick and wide so I like this one for blush so I like a sm smaller brush for blushes that are a lot more 
they don't have a good color payoff so you can kind of condense it a little bit here and make it build up a little bit better so this is a beautiful brush again very very nice very soft no loose hairs on any of these i've washed all these except for the foundation one the blender one i didn't wash that one because i didn't use it there was no point in washing it the next one is the lexi 201 brow and lash brush super soft like this is a spoolie that is very very soft that goes through your brows very easily my phone it continues to go off it seems like every time i record lately i don't understand it i gonna turn that darn thing off be quiet so this is a really good brush to spoolie through your brows i love this brush it's super super soft again i think all their brushes are very very soft and nice to and easy to use the next one i have is this one right here this is the flat definer this is the 221 flat definer this one here is good for me as far as like doing like lash line work i really like using it for that but again you can use the brush in any way that you would like to use it you don't have to use it specifically how you want how i'm doing it or how it says to use it so i like it for that that's what worked best for me the next one is this one right here. This is the Tapered Blending, the 229. This one was great for blowing out shadows, so I loved it for blowing out my shadows. I think this is a really great brush. Again, very soft onto your skin, so it doesn't feel like it's pulling your skin or anything. It blends out very well, so great brush again. And then the last one is the eye shading and this one has a little bit of a taper to it i don't know if you can tell it or not but it's got a small taper to it so this one's great for putting like in the outer corner and turning around you can use it like that that's the way that i used it there however again you want to use it again it was a really great brush so all in all that was a great brush set i think that that was a great all in all to all all to all in one brush set the only thing like i said that i didn't use was that one blending brush this one right here but that's just me because I don't use foundation with a brush. So if you're someone who uses foundation with a brush, you probably would have loved them all. Loved all of them. The next thing is this right here. This is the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint. And this is in the shade hmm, Insta Famous. This is beautiful on the lips because it has a lot of sparkle to it. I'm going to put it over top of the lip shade I have on right now just so you can see what it looks like. Uh, it is so pretty. It gives a very nice sparkle to it and because of the sparkle it's giving to it it makes your lips look a lot fuller so if you want to make your lips look fuller put some sparkle on your lips it makes your lips look more fuller more juicy more luscious so really like this it's not chunky it's not like mint it's a little minty but it's not overly minty the only thing that i did not like about this is that it is a little sticky and my hair see it will get caught into it pretty easily so just be careful because it is quite sticky so just note that if you're using it it's quite sticky not best for outside the next thing is this right here this is the grande mascara this is the lash boosting formula i don't know that it boosted my lashes in any specific way because i used it not consistently enough i like the tubing to it like the packaging to it. it's really pretty it's almost like like i don't know like metal it's a really nice packaging the actual wand to it's really cool it's just like a typical wand so it's not anything that could scare anybody in my opinion but as far as making your lashes look bigger or anything i didn't notice a difference yet so i'm going to continue to use it to see if i do notice a difference but so far it's nothing that's like oh my gosh it doesn't give you the greatest length or the greatest volume either so for me it's just one of those it's not the best formula in my opinion so it's just okay the next thing is the pretty vulgar this is the face powder this is very very good i don't like it for under my eyes i'm very picky about what goes under my eyes but as far as my face goes it works really well for my face because i do have dry skin so it's hard to find things that work well for my dry skin and this worked really well for my dry skin it does have a little bit of a little poofy thing here but it works really well for my dry skin so if you want to take your little poof and dust some off and then tap it on i love this for my skin it works really well it's not super drying it doesn't make me look cakey it has a little bit of a scent to it but nothing that's like overwhelming or anything just a tiny little scent to it i think all in all the packaging the little poof everything and the way that it works with my dry skin this is an a plus it's very very nice then the last thing that was in the Lux Boxy Charm is the Violet Voss Pro. So this is not the actual one that came in there. This is my personal one. So I wanted to pull mine out instead of using the one they sent because there's no point in using one that they sent when I already own this myself. I do love this palette. This is the Holy Grail palette, isn't it? Yes, this is the Holy Grail palette. So it's got tons of different colors in here that are like more warmer shades. So if you're into those warmer shades, you're going to love this. It's like the, Amer I don't know, Whoa, 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 whoa. the Anastasia Renaissance like 
souped up because this is pretty much what it is. It's the Anastasia Modern Renaissance souped up with a lot more shades mixed in here. They all blend very well. They're so pigmented. The shimmers, the satins, everything is absolutely amazing. If you have not tried Violet Voss shadows, highly recommend that you do. So these are very, very nice. I'm planning to use my palette that they sent me to use for a giveaway. So the one that I have is the one that I decided to show you guys just because it made more sense to me. So this is a very, very good palette. Highly recommend it. If you do not have Violet Voss, go and store and swatch them because I'm telling you they're so soft. They kind of remind me of like Lorac shadows, how soft and pigmented they are. They're very, very good. So that is everything that came in the boxy lock. So all in all, do I feel like it was worth $50? Absolutely. That box was absolutely amazing. Two eyeshadow palettes, a set of brushes, a face powder, mascara, a lip product. I mean, like, all in all, that was an excellent box. So BoxyCharm hit it out of the park, in my opinion, for the Boxy Lux for December. So I was very, very happy with it. Now we're moving on to the January box, which is not a Boxy Lux, unfortunately. Boxy Luxes only come every three months, so we won't get another one of those until March. So we do have our regular Boxy Charm, though. So we're going to see what's inside of here. The box feels so tiny now that I've had the Boxy Lux because the Boxy Lux is giant. And this little thing is like, whoa, what could be in here that's any good? So let's see if this is still going to be worth our $21 that we're spending each month. I'm hoping so. I did go ahead and pop the little tape off just because I am terrible about those things. And my little cutters, I cannot find them in my drawer here. I just had them and I don't know what I've put up where I've put them. I have no idea. So we do get a little card on top. It says boxy and chill. And then there's what the card looks like. And then on the back side of this card, it's going to give you all the information about the products that are included as well as pricing. So it's going to tell you some information on how to use them. And then of course the pricing on them. So I'm just going to reach in here and we're going to grab out things. So I'm going to reach and I'm going to grab out, Ooh, we have, I don't know what is on my hand here. We have an Ofra product. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Havana Nights. So here's what it looks like. I think I've seen a lot of people getting the shade. I've seen a couple sneak peeks of people getting the shade. It's a very pretty color. I'm not sure it's a shade that I personally would purchase myself because I'm not huge into really deep shades. Like the shade I have on today was like a really deep to me, but it honestly looks very similar. So I might be able to wear it and get by with it. So we'll have to try it out. It looks pretty. It smells really nice. It smells very good. I like their new packaging. I like the more squared off packaging versus their rounded packaging, which is what they used to sell. This looks more fancier. And then they've even got a little Ofra signal, like a symbol at the top here. So let's see what it says about this. It says, this matte liquid lipstick delivers long lasting color that perfectly outlines and fills in lips. The stunning pigment stays put all day with minimal transfer while maintaining a comfortable wear infused with vitamin A and antioxidants. Your lips will look and feel healthy all day. It says it's a $20 value. So, so we've already got 20 bucks right here. So we'll have to see what else is in there. I need a little cloth. <laughs> oh, we'll leave it. You know what? Let's leave it and see what it does. The next thing is <clears throat> Briogeo. This is the Briogeo Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I'm going to have to smell this because I think I remember before that I had I don't love the way that brioche smells. Some people like it. I just don't for some reason. It reminds me of like the Olay cream that you use or is it Olay or I don't know. It reminds me of like the skincare from Olay. I think it's Olay that it smells like. Either way, I'm not in love with the smell of it. So this is the Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Spray and it says that this is a two ounce container and it is. It says this is a $12 value. Effectively restore your hair softness, manageability, moisture, and shine with Briogeo Rosarco Milk Spray. Infused with the signature blend of ultra nourishing rose hip, argan, and coconut oils, the spray works to detangle wet hair and protects against the heat while locking in moisture, restoring luster and diminishing frizz. Hmm. So I don't remember. I know I've tried their conditioner, but it was. I'm going to put some in my hair, even though it's not even close to being wet. It's very dry. I want to smell it. It smells not so bad in your hair, actually. So in the container, it doesn't smell as good as it does in my hair. So that's at least one good thing. So I'm excited to try that out as well. The next thing in here is from Billion Dollar Brows. So this is the Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. Ooh, I love getting brow pencils. I don't know about you guys, but brow pencils get me excited. And it's a universal one, so it's supposed to be able to work with all different hair colors. So there's the shade of it right here. So it's like a taupe color. Not sure that's going to be completely universal. It's got like a pointy tip to it. So 
I'm excited to try it out and see if it's any good. It's got the, the pencil here and then on the other end it's got a spoolie. The spoolie feels a little rough but not super rough. So I'm excited about trying that out to see if it's any good. Hmm. I'm excited because I know a lot of people are getting eyeliner. So I'm happy to have a brow product instead. So this is the Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil specifically and carefully formulated what to work perfectly with most skin tones and brow colors the soft sharpening pencil glides onto your brows without tugging or pulling your skin the spoolie at the end makes for easy blending and the smooth and creamy formula makes for easy application it says it's 18 dollars, so i don't know we'll have to try it out we'll have to see hopefully it matches my brows i think it should so we'll have to just give it a shot the next thing is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. I thought I had this palette. I was looking through all my Tarte palettes and I don't have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea 3. I only have, I think I've actually got rid of all of my, all of these. So I've sold most of them on Poshmark just because I was not loving them. So I'm going to have to give it another shot now that we've got them in BoxyCharm because I don't know if I do love this or not anymore because it's been a while since I tried them. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes your your makeup opinions can kind of change over the years. And I didn't realize this is not just a uh, eyeshadow palette. This is a eyeshadow palette and it's like a highlighting palette. So you can use it to highlight with. There is one matte shade in here, but the rest of these shades are more of a shimmery shade. So I'm going to use this as a highlighter palette, not just an eyeshadow palette. So I'm hoping that I can be able to use it that way because using it as an eyeshadow palette before, I remember being very disappointed because I need more mattes. There's not enough mattes in this palette, so we'll have to give it another shot because right now I wasn't super excited. It says, dive into this vegan crease-free eyeshadow palette that features seven highly reflective plush micro shimmers and one matte nude that serves as the perfect transition shade. That is not a transition shade. I don't think that's a transition shade, guys. It's the same color as my skin. Like, that is not a transition shade. A transition shade should be a little bit deeper than your skin, so. What? Okay, so. This blendable and long wear formula is enriched with vitamin E and antioxidants, helping to hydrate and protect the lids. So this is $36. So I know they are $36, but I don't remember loving this at all. So I'm hoping that maybe I can force myself to love it a little bit this time around. So again, I'm going to use it mostly as highlighters and things like that to see if it'll work for me. Hopefully it does. I don't know. The next and last thing in here is from Tatcha. These are the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Masks. So here's what they look like. You get two of them. So I'm excited about these. I love masking. So masking is, I love skincare actually. I love anything to do with skincare. It says the nourish from within using this lightweight blend of rice germ oil, vitamin E, essential fast fatty acids, and highly concentrated botanical oils and extracts. Each mask is designed for a maximum absorption, delivering 20 millimeters of skin quenching serum and imparting a instant dewy luminous glow a scientifically perfected trio of fermented Japanese anti-aging superfoods like green tea, rice, and algae instantly restore skin health and radiance. So this is $24 for two of these, so 12 bucks a piece. So it looks like we got a good box this month. Let's add up how much it would have been if we would have purchased all these items separately because I know that that's sometimes more important than as to what you're actually getting in the box. What's the value of the box? So the Briogeo is $12. The Ofra was $20. The Tarte was $36, the Tatcha is $24, the Billion Dollar Brows is $18. Did, am I missing something? Because this is not a very good valued box. Let's try that again. So we have $12, $20, $36, $24, $18. Okay, so $110 is the value of the box. So it usually is worth at least $100 or more for the boxes. So that makes me at least happy in that point. So it's worth, you know, a little bit more than that. Not a little bit more. It's worth, it's got a pretty good value here. So you're getting like at least a 75% discount on these items. So we just have to try them all out. I'm just getting ready to rub that off. So it looks like it's going to rub off pretty easily. 
yeah it stains behind that's definitely for sure it's leaving a stain behind but we'll have to try that over lipstick out on my lips and see how it does there because on your skin and your lips that's completely different it's not going to work the same the same thing as shadows when people swatch them on their hands they're not going to work the same on your hands as they do on your eyelids so that's why it's always important to try these products out so that's why i love trying these out this month and then next month i'll come back on here and let you guys know whether or not they worked or not so stay tuned for that i'll let you guys know how all these product works all these products worked as well as whether or not I could actually love this palette I'm not sure mm, I don't have high hopes I'll be honest so anyway I'd love to know do you get boxycharm as well did you get the same things as I got or did you get different things because I don't think I've seen anybody get the billion dollar brows so I'm excited about that at least so that makes me happy thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll catch you guys later